The Pearson, a pub surrounded by history, an historic building in its own right. Built in 1749, it gets its name from the hero of the Battle of Jersey in January the 6th, 1781. Major Francis Pearson, a 24-year-old Yorkshireman who rallied and led the Jersey militia and the British troops against the French. The French had invaded the evening before and they captured the governor and forced him into believing that the island should surrender. Pearson was asked if he'd surrender. He would have none of it, none of it at all. That was it for him. He assembled his troops and when he'd done that, he led them to the Royal Square to face the French in this very Royal Square in front of the Pearson that we see behind us today. As for Pearson, he led a column of the 95th foot, his regiment, a Yorkshire regiment, up the back street, just down here, which is now the main street, King Street, and into Avenue Le Manche, now Pearson Place. And as we get to the side door of the Pearson, this is where our hero fell. A French ball crashed into his chest and he fell back into the arms of his grenadiers and was carried to the house of Mrs. Fio. As for the French, the 78th foot, now a part of the Regiment of Scotland, supported by the Jersey Militia and the 95th foot, poured musket fire into them. Fifteen minutes later, it was all over and Jersey remains loyal to the Crown today. But now let's return to the Royal Square and the Pearson itself. The Royal Square, or Le Grand Marché, was the marketplace up to 1803 for the town of St Helier. People used to come in at the weekends and shop for their meat, their fresh vegetables, and of course, pick up the gossip. The state's building was and is just across the other side. And it was here that Baron de Rulcourt, the leader of the French forces, was shot. His men carried him to the house of Dr. Lerier, where 11 hours later, he died in agony. And the bloodstains could still be seen on the floor up to the late last century. Oh, did I mention that Dr. Lurie's house is now the Pearson? As we look opposite the Pearson, on the other side, we see a tall building, and that was the home of Captain Clemore Henry of the Royal Jersey Artillery. He heard some noises early morning. He looked out and saw the French infantry in the square. He quickly left by the back door and went to raise the alarm, and he was one of the first to do so. He later joined Pearson in the battle. Across the road here, we have the state's building. And in there, in the court, there's a copy of Singleton's death of Major Pearson. And Captain Clemore Henry can be seen right in the middle supporting the dead body of Pearson. And he's the gentleman in blue. All this history. You can see all of this from your chair as you have a drink in the Pearson.